It's a peaceful morning and you're enjoying the comfort of a hot virtual shower. When suddenly, a message appears in the steam on your bathroom mirror. I am the only thing that named myself. What am I? Who wrote that? Are we not safe even in a virtual house? Honestly, if I were you, I'd go straight into the settings and buy myself a good alarm system. Human, of course. It's actually really simple. All right then, you're finally ready to start out your day. You've got lots to do and nothing to stop you. Well, except for a misplaced chair, maybe. You're starving. You start whipping up some pancakes. Your only meal for the day. Unfortunately, that's all you know how to make for now. Oh no! We seem to have blown a fuse. You go down to the basement and find yourself faced with an electrical panel and three switches, all in the off position. To keep the circuit from tripping again, you only want to turn on the one for the kitchen. But you don't know which one is which. You could test them one by one, going up to the kitchen with each to see which it is. But that would be tiring, and you want to avoid all those trips on the stairs. So, a small challenge. How can you figure out which switch controls the electricity for the kitchen while only having to go up to the kitchen once? I'm just hoping this isn't dangerous. Make sure your hands are dry. Accidents seem to happen a little too easily in this game. And be careful you don't fall down those stairs on your way back up. First, you'll have to flip the first switch and leave it on for five minutes. Then flip it back off and flip the second switch to the on position. Go straight up to the kitchen. If the light is on, that must mean the second switch controls the kitchen electricity. If the light is off, but the bulb is still warm, that means that the first switch controls the kitchen electricity. If the light is off and the bulb is cold, it means it must be the third switch. Fortunately for you, it was indeed the second switch. So you can get right back to flipping those pancakes. Oh, for crying out loud, is there no peace in this house? When the electricity cut out, it must have stopped the radio channel with whale songs that keeps the baby asleep. And now the crying won't stop. You decide to change up a couple settings. There are some advantages to this virtual life. Here we go. Mute. Ooh, look at all these options. If your baby is blind, deaf, and mute, how many senses do they still have? All right, well, in the real world, you'd be a pretty unfit parent, but this is just a game, so we're gonna take advantage of the advantages of virtual life. And anyway, have we mentioned you're starving? Your baby still has three senses. Speaking doesn't count. All right, now we've finally got some peace and quiet. Time to return to those pancakes. Aw, oh, man. And now someone's at the door. You open it to find two new neighbors who've come to introduce themselves. Funny, they have the same mom and were born on the same day, at the same time, in the same month and same year, but they're not twins. How is this possible? Here's hoping on behalf of you and your rumbling stomach that these new neighbors aren't too chatty or you're gonna starve to death. Easy, they're triplets. Is something burning? No, the pancakes. Ah, too late. Honestly, between the insanity of meal prep and the pools without steps, I've got way too much work around here. Hey you, can you name something that runs but doesn't have legs? Give us your best answer in the comments. And make sure to click the red button and subscribe to our Riddle Me This channel. Riddle